Hello YouTube, this is the uh, first challenge of the uh, motorbike community Think Bike, Think Biker challenge and this is challenge number one which is top gear. So I'm going to show you the gear that I've got. So I'll start off by telling you about my helmet. Now this is a uh, Scorpion EX0500 helmet and I've had this helmet now at least, oh, at least a couple of years and um, I bought this helmet because it was quite reasonably priced, it was just under £200 and it had quite a lot of very positive reviews. Uh, the other thing I like about this helmet, it comes with a internal visor which I quite like. I used to hate uh, my other helmet, I used to forever have to uh, keep changing it from a clear to a tinted visor so I like the fact it's got an internal visor, I like that. The, the other thing I like about it, it has a like a, what I could best describe as an air sac within the helmet. Now I've got very, a very, very small head, so it gives you the ability to sort of pump it up uh, in order to make it an even greater snug fit. So it's great for the likes of me who've, you know, like I said, I've got quite a small head and it makes sure that helmet sits very, very snugly on it. So yeah, that's my helmet. So that's a Scorpion helmet. Next thing I'll show you are my gloves. Now I've got three pairs of gloves. These are my winter gloves. Now I'm not too sure what the make of them are, but they're um, they're pretty good. They're, they're, they're only cheap. I think they're about £20. Uh, I've had them almost as long as I've been riding, um, nearly five years. So, And they've lasted all that time. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these gloves is they're not very waterproof. So with that in mind, I bought myself a pair of Oxford bone dry gloves. Now these are very waterproof and these are excellent but what they aren't is very good at being a winter glove. I wouldn't rely on these as a winter glove per se. I would wear these when I know it's going to be absolutely chucking it down outside and I need to keep my hands very very dry so these are excellent. Um, I have a third pair of gloves. These are my uh, summer gloves. I think they're Targa. I'm not sure whether that's a you know a well-known brand or not, but I like them. The thing I like about them is they're very very thin, um, give you a totally different grip in the summertime as, as opposed to the winter gloves in the winter winter time. And they've all got this uh, hard um, carbon um, protection on the knuckles and on the wrists so that they're excellent so they're my, my summer gloves and again I've, I've probably had these oh I would say probably about four going on five years so they've they've lasted really really well and they're not they're not near ready to be replaced there's no rips or tears of them so they're excellent what else can I show you um, I have one of these I don't know what you call these are these snugs um, it was a freebie uh, I didn't pay anything for it uh, and it's excellent both in the winter time for keeping my neck warm and also in the summer time for keeping those damn flies and wasps away from your, your neck because sometimes they do have a habit of flying into your neck and the last thing you want on your bike is to be uh, stung by a wasp so that's uh, that's my snug and like I say it cost me nothing it's free. I think the other thing I'll show you are my boots now these boots I actually got from a a well-known German supermarket. Now I know there's been a lot of debate in the past about buying gear from these places but I wouldn't necessarily buy a helmet but I would wholeheartedly recommend these boots. These are a touring boot and I've had them, I reckon I've had them about a year, maybe a little bit longer and they're not even starting to wear out yet. They're excellent, they're ever so dry, lovely and warm. I've had no problems whatsoever these boots so if you ever see these in those supermarkets again I would recommend you buy them. They only cost I think it was £30, an absolute bargain. I really would recommend these boots to you so if you're on a budget especially these are fantastic. The other thing I'll show you is my jacket. Um, I have a, an RST ventilator 3 jacket. It's classed as a, I think they class it as an all-year jacket um, suitable for winter riding and summer riding. Uh, not only does it have a winter lining that you can take out, it also has a, a waterproof membrane which again you can take out and especially when it's really warm in the summertime you can take all the linings out and you've got 
what effectively is a mesh jacket and it's absolutely brilliant. I couldn't recommend this jacket enough. I actually think um, it's been superseded. I think there's a version 4 now and there may even be a version 5. I've had this two years and I, it's probably one of the best buys I've ever, ever bought with regards to gear for my bike and it's fantastic this jacket. Not only did I get a jacket, um, I also got the matching trousers to go with it. Again, it has the winter lining in it and the waterproof lining and you can take all the lining out of it and again it becomes a mesh, mesh pair of trousers. Perfect for those really hot sweltering summer days. I know we don't get many of those in the summertime here in the UK but you know if you don't want to squid it I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I would wholeheartedly recommend these trousers and that jacket, certainly in the summertime, and if you want to wear your gear and be safe. So that's that. I think, guys, that is it for my gear. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll finish off by saying think bike, think biker. I'll put a, a link in the description below if you want to have a go at the challenge yourself. In total, I think there are 10 challenges. And the closing date, I think, is sometime in August. Again, I'll put the link in the description below. So, as always, guys, ride safe, and I'll catch you next time. One, two, three. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> this is my... Um, one, two, three. Hello YouTube, this is my attempt at the uh, Motorbike Community Challenge, the Think. Hello YouTube, this is Wyvern Biker. Hmm. Hello YouTube, this is my attempt at the Motorbike Community. Hello YouTube, this is my attempt at the MBC Challenge, Think Biker. Uh, I'm going to do challenge number one, which is T for Top Gear. I'm going to show you my gear. So uh, I'll start off with the helmet, if you can see that. But this is a uh, Scorpion EXO 500 helmet. Now one of the things that uh, I like about this helmet is that uh, the review that I read before purchasing this, 